it's absolutely amazing to think of this that that mission was we, we just never thought we'd gain this much knowledge. Right. So in regards to Cassini and its return in September, which part are they going to crash and which part are they going to return? Well, no, th there's nothing that's going to be returned. The whole thing is going to be crashed. Now, Cassini launched a probe down to the surface of Saturn's biggest moon back in, I think, 2006. When, or, I forget the year, actually. I can't remember now. But they launched a tiny little probe that actually landed on Saturn's moon Titan. Right. And uh, it shot one photograph taken from the surface of this big moon. And it is the only moon in our solar system that has an atmosphere. All the rest of the moons don't have any, any atmosphere, at least to speak of. Our moon is a tiny little atmosphere, but it's quite negligible. But uh, Titan is a very interesting world. Um, it has lakes and seas and mountains, like we do. It even has beaches. Seen that from radar, but the liquid on Titan is not water. It's methane, methane. and on Earth, methane is a gas. But on Titan, words that cold, methane is actually a liquid, and so you have liquid oceans of methane and seas um, on Titan. It's a fascinating world. And I think there's a good chance that there may be some kind of really alien life that would live in those seas. Because it would be a kind of life totally unfamiliar to what we have here. But a planet like Mars, <coughs> that's got a little bit of water, uh, not a whole lot, but some, it could conceivably have life something like ours. And in the case of Jupiter's moons, which we think have a real good chance for life, uh, we really don't know what we're going to find. And NASA is in the process of designing a mission uh, to go to this moon, which is called Europa. And in the closing days of the Obama administration, um, Congress approved a mission to go to Europa. And they actually granted more money to the mission because Obama wanted to land also on Europa and put a little submarine down into the ocean to see anybody around there swimming. And when Trump took over, um, and he is very pro NASA, um, he kept the flyby mission going, but he wanted to do some more work on the lander to go to uh, Europa to see if they can actually burrow into the ice and snow to get down into that ocean and really go at it more. So what Trump actually wants to do is go beyond uh, the original proposal, which Obama approved. Well, I, think, I think when you say burying, it's mm -hmm. kind of like you're penetrating too versus yes. discovering. Yes. Why, yes. Why, why penetrate through and destroy what could... But it, more the, I, the no? idea would be to melt the ice ahead of it. So it would be like boring into the snow. So like, you, you could see that if you like were, if, if you wanted to go through a whole bunch of snow and you had some kind of heat source to melt the snow ahead of you right. as you travel, well, that's the idea for getting down into this ocean on Europa. And so Trump simply wants to get some more details on how to do it. And there's already been a science fiction movie that was done around, I don't know, about 10 years ago, something like that. Which, um, except for one thing, which